What up? It's your boy, Chef Boudreau, man. Today, I'm going to be making for y'all some braised short ribs with some garlic mashed potatoes. We just going to do a side salad, man, because you know my people. I'm down here in New Orleans, man, kicking it with my big brother. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by browning off these short ribs right here. This don't look like a short rib. It's like a big ass rib right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to brown these off. We'll brown these off. I know you hear the sizzle. If you hear the sizzle, get word. So we're gonna brown these off real quick. Get some flavor to them. And then we're gonna come on back and then we're gonna braise them in this oven. I got the oven preset at 375, 400. If you got one of these nice pots right here, man, tell me. These suckers work well in the oven. Man, I'm gonna show you what I browned off these short ribs. I'm gonna put them right here so you can see them. This fire ain't on. But what we about to do is about to saute these uh, shallots. Dump them all in there because they're about to be some good eating. About to be some good eating. We're gonna saute these for about, maybe about, Cause we wanna we wanna get all these good drippings from the bottom of the pot come together and start sauteing these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this fresh garlic. We adding it all up in there. I had about six, seven cloves of garlic. I love garlic. That's what I do. And then what we're gonna do right quick, after we saute this for about maybe about another minute, because we want them nice and soft. We don't want to burn, so you constantly stir. I'm gonna put this to the side real quick. And then we're going to, ooh, boy, if y'all had smell of vision, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, if you had smell of vision, it'd be going down up in this cut. Let me tell you, this is what we're about to do. We're about to deglaze this pan with some red wine. You can come on and check this out. Come on in, cameraman, check this out. We're about to deglaze this pan with some wine. And I ain't counting, so you put as much wine as you want to, because this cooking in the oven, all right? That's probably about three cups. All right, so we're going to saute this a little bit. Going to let this cook. Let the wine reduce a little bit. And then we're going to take and add some tomato paste. Instead of using flour, we're going to add the tomato paste because that's going to thicken up this sauce. And, of course, don't worry about the alcohol. Any kids can still eat it because the alcohol is going to cook off. All right? Get all that goodness out there. All of it. There we go. Now we're gonna set this to the side. You know what, man? I'm home, man. A little warm. A little warm. Mm -hmm. I need you to get this look on my face when I do that. <laughs> you don't know, actually whine up there. <laughs> Alright, so, so we just gonna let this cook down. And once this cook down, I know it may look like we missed some steps, which we kinda did. So, but I'm gonna let you know right here what I did was. I deglazed the pan. I de deglazed the pan. Uh, once I sauteed the shallots and the garlic, added the wine. I probably added about yeah half of this wine. This yeah this is this big bottle. So I added half of that wine up in there. It's gonna cook out, but I need to season it now before I put it in the oven. So I'm gonna add some salt, and this is gonna be to taste for me. You add your salt how you want to. I know it looked like a lot, but it really not. Man, just like a little garlic powder. And then I'm gonna add some pepper. And, uh, where's the pepper? And grind this somewhere. Oh, there you go. Okay. We're gonna add just a little bit of pepper to it. And then we're gonna let this cook. I know it looked like a lot, but I'm a chef. I, I do everything by eye. And don't be watching what I'm doing. Well, you should be watching what I'm doing, but don't. Hey. Do your salt and pepper to taste how you like it. If you don't do pepper, use Mrs. Dash. But this is about to go in the oven for about a good hour. Let me go ahead and get these and put this in there. This stuff is hot. All right, so now what we're about to do is we're about to put the taters on. About to put these potatoes on. I, I didn't already pre-cut them. I'm just gonna add some salt to the water. As y'all can see, there's a fresh cut potatoes. And we're gonna do some fresh garlic mashed potatoes today. 
And that way, when it's done, you won't have to add any salt to it because it's going to be all in the potato, baby. Let's get it. I got these potatoes ready. They're all nice and soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain them off. I'm going to drain them off. Hopefully it's not hot as hell. It is. <laughs> Time. It's all right. We done. We about to go put these in the back real quick. I, since I don't have a potato masher, I'm gonna use a good old fashioned fork. <laughs> so I got some butter right here. I'm gonna saute. I got some garlic right there. Usually I roast them, but I ain't had no time. It just take a little minute. So. We're gonna melt this butter. Hey CC, give a little shot of CC. Mm. Yeah, pretty dog. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this garlic. We're gonna saute this garlic up a little. All right. Mm. 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 I'm gonna let this cook a little minute. Usually I put a little white pepper, but since I don't have no white pepper, I ain't using nothing. We're gonna use some milk. Make my boy really smile and see. Use some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by mashing these potatoes. And look, they're gonna mash up because they're real soft. And if they're a little chunky, that's okay. It's just gonna add. It's just going to know. People going to know that you really made some potatoes. Now, if you go in there with that box stuff, you might get crushed out. Oh, Lord, if you had smell of vision. Boy, if you had smell of vision. Oh. And then what I'm going to do is make a mess. I'm going to pick it up put it right back in the pot. And I'm going to take this milk and I'm going to pour it over up in here. Just a tad bit, just a tad bit of some night quill. That's about another half cup. Just good old fashioned butter. Up there. This is about two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Chef Jannard, man. That's my dog right there. But he is the Luther Vandross of culinary. <laughs> Ooh, boy, this is going to be some good eating. And them, 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 them short ribs going to be coming out. I promise you, this is going to be some good eating. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste. Look. See, when you add that salt to the water, you ain't got to do nothing else. Look, I ain't even got to add nothing but some pepper. Boy, this is going to be some good eating. There you go. Potatoes are done. So now, oh, wait. When the potatoes are done, look at this, boy. We about to, boy, we about to get our grub on up in here. Look at that, look at that. Now, that's probably about a cup of milk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at boy, you need to come see this, boy. Look at this. Look at this, boy. Look at them. Potatoes. Potatoes is good, boy. We're about to boy, it's about to be some good eating up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Jesus well. <laughs> wow. What's going down up in this piece? 
I'm about to add some more butter up in here. About a half a stick of butter again. And I'm going to add, probably, I don't know if I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. These ribs are done. They're so done. Let me show you something. I'm putting a bone out this sucker, man. I'm going to sit that right here. Look, man. <laughs> If you had, smell a vision. If you don't, it's your damn fault. I'm just saying, it's your damn fault. I'm about to take these potatoes and put them right here. Right here on this. Yeah. Just like that. Look, I got a, I got a rib I've been saving for this. Look at just, just look at this. The bone that came out of here. Boy, this about to be some good eating. It's about to be some good ass eating right here, boy. And then I'm gonna take all this good old look at it, look at this sauce. This ain't gravy, it's sauce. Look at this boy. About to bust in the mouth with it, boy. Bust your dead in your mouth with it, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> and guess what? I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this pasta right here. Man, come on, man. This shut boots your man. Hey, look. You already know what it is. You already know I'll get down. I ain't even gonna taste it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let my brother taste it. You ready for that? Hallelujah. <laughs> Alright. Spoony leads to forking. <laughs> I was so stupid, but anyway. Come on, man. Let's switch places. Oh. Real quick. No? Y'all wanna do it? You want, you want, let, want me to let you put your Grecian formula in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I ain't even going to taste it. But this is what it is, man, because I'm tired of eating food. But this is how your boy get down, man. It's your boy, Chef Boudreaux, man. I'm out. Y'all be easy, baby. <laughs>